right, final blessings. We are back with another video. Uh, before I begin, uh, just a couple quick announcements. If you are interested in a 2024 uh, spiritual forecast reading, you can see what the demons and the spirits and the gods and goddesses got in store for you for 2024. It is a month by month uh, breakdown of what you need to be or what, where I and mean, what you need to know for the upcoming year in 2024. All right, I do these readings pretty much from now until about the first week in February. I've been doing them every year for about the last four years, I believe. It's probably the fourth or fifth year I've been done it. So if you are interested in booking your 2024 yearly forecast reading, uh, shoot me an email, khnum19 at gmail.com, and we'll set that up. Also, if you're interested in the various other different types of readings that I offer, Clopathic demonic readings, uh, shadow work readings, deity readings, uh, Santa Muerte readings, Egyptian oracle readings, uh, just shoot me an email and I will send you information on how to book a spiritual reading or a consultation. And again, remember the 2024 yearly forecast readings are from right now until about the first week uh, in February. And then you got to wait, obviously, to the following year. Um, also, if you are interested in signing up for classes, uh, the best way to sign up for the classes I do offer, it's one of the most frequent emails I get all the time, what kind of classes do you do, what kind of classes do you offer. I do a wide variety of classes, a lot of classes. Those are that are on Patreon know we have a, our next class is this Thursday night. Um, there's a bunch of ongoing series of classes that I do privately. I do three classes every month for Patreon members only. And uh, we also do a group ritual together every month. The way to get in on that and to sign up for the classes is at patreon.com forward slash Beniti. B-A-N-I-T-I, -I, tier three. That's the tier you want to join. That's going to give you access to the three private classes I do every month for Patreon members and the group ritual. Also keep in mind when you do join, I always have to address this, you don't just get access to classes from the day you join moving forward, you get access to all of the classes in the archive going back three years now, okay? And there's a lot of classes in there. And again, it's not YouTube, I wanna make that clear. The Patreon page, you'll see we, we do it in a, uh, a private, it's done by Zoom. You'll see the participants, there's interactions, there's question and answer. There's ritual work, there's assignments, uh, It go. we go a lot more in depth, I talk about things on Patreon that I wouldn't talk openly about um, on YouTube for obvious reasons, um, but it's really for those who want to take their occult knowledge, their path of self-mastery, that want to take it to that next level. If you really want to take it up a notch and you really want to dedicate your time, effort, and energy to growing spiritually and mastering yourself, that's what it's for. There's also mentorship programs on there, the Red Magus mentorship program. Uh, though it's pretty full right now, um, but sometimes that changes. But again, the mentorship programs, as I've said in the past, uh, please don't sign up for a mentorship program if you can't commit the time, effort, energy, and the work that needs to be done. I don't want to waste your time, and please don't waste my time. There's too much shit to be doing. Uh, but again, that's how you get in on the classes. Uh, Right now we have ongoing series, Clopathic Sorcery, Luciferian Magic and Self Mastery, Sith Dark Side Alchemy and Philosophy class. We have the Ancient Egyptian Vampiric class, Esoterical Occult Bible Study class, Kundalini Meditation and Awakening class, North Left Hand Path Mythology and Runes class, Eastern Left Hand Path Occult class, uh, I don't know if I'm missing some, Shadow Work class, uh, which we're 18 knee deep and counting in that. Uh, we just started a new series only has two two installments and counting uh, the necromancy and dark witchcraft class I mean there's tons of classes I cover uh, a wide variety of occult and left-hand path topics so check out the patreon page patreon.com forward slash Beniti in the month of December uh, which uh, I usually don't do anything anymore we're gonna have one uh, big group class for all tiers an end of the year type of class question and answer session plus I'm going to give you my insights, my thoughts on 2023, and some predictions and things to expect for 2024. All right, patreon.com forward slash Beniti, B-A-N-I-T-I, -I, tier three. That's the tier you want to join. 
All right. Also keep in mind, all this new content is being uploaded to the Primordial Chaos podcast, which is available on Spotify and all major podcast platforms. The direct link to the podcast is in the description box of this video that you're watching right now. Check us out on Instagram, Primordial Chaos 9, all one word. Check us out on Facebook, two words, Primordial Chaos. And on the Facebook page, I upload all this new content also. Any new YouTube videos, they all go straight to the Primordial Chaos Facebook page. So you can keep abreast of what I'm doing there and then obviously here uh, on the YouTube. Uh, also, mark it down. Just to keep putting it out there, seventh annual journey of the Black Adept Conference will be in the third or fourth week of October 2024. More to come on that as we get later in the next year, but definitely the third or the fourth weekend in October for sure. Don't do like Brother Eric did and book your tickets for the wrong weekend, but that's all right. We made it up to Brother Eric. Brother E came out here a couple weeks ago, came the week after the conference, as you guys saw. I posted some pictures. Uh, we took him to the Florida Panthers hockey game. We had a fun time out there. Uh, so, you know, we tried to make the best of it. Kind of kind of felt a little bad for Brother E uh, booking his travel a week late. But, hey, shit happens for a reason. And he was able to attend the Santa Morte ritual, which was uh, a really great ritual. You guys gave me a lot of good feedback on that ritual. I know some of you just took it, did other things with it, and I'm glad to hear that you guys made it your own. And most of all, that you got results. That's the important thing. All right, so what I kind of want to talk about today is as magicians, right, we, we have to experiment with things. You must challenge yourself, and through trial and error, you're going to face a lot of different challenges, and you're going to have successes and failures. First of all, as I said before, magic is the science of understanding oneself and mastering oneself and their surroundings and their environment, okay? But it's first, the science of mastering one's self. So we have to get locked into our head as practitioners, occultists, left-hand path practitioners, uh, sorcerers, dark magicians, black magicians, black adam. I was throwing all the terms out there that we like to use to describe what we do. We have to understand being those things, we're going to experiment with things, and through those experimentations is how we're going to figure out what's right for us, what's, what's wrong for us or doesn't work, what we vibe and resonate with, and what we don't. The only way you're going to figure that out is by experimenting, and through that experimentation, there's going to be a lot of challenges. If you're not challenging yourself on this path, then again, you're not on this path. And after this kind of follow-up to the last video, many are called, few are chosen on the left-hand path. Okay? If you are not constantly challenging yourself, trying to take yourself to the limits, doing things you thought you were never capable of, or, or taking these challenges on that you probably wouldn't have taken on, uh, you know, prior to being on this path. This is what I meant to expound further when I was talking about many are called, few are chosen. Okay? As I said before, if you're looking for, you know, a path that is, you know, routine, laid back, comfortable, I can tell you, this is not the right path for you. This path is anything but comfortable. There's always something to learn. There's always something to explore. There's always something to experiment with. Okay, like scientists, this is how scientists come to the conclusions when they're looking into things, theories, and they're trying to get answers to things of a scientific nature. They do that via experimentation. You as a magician are a spiritual scientist, okay? You are a spiritual scientist as a magician because you are experimenting with things of a spiritual nature to see how they affect you, to see how they work for you, how it opens up your psyche, how it establishes your connection and relationship with the spirit world, right? And that's going to be different for everybody. And again, I got to quote Nitschke, my favorite quote. I always bring it up when, when, it, when it applies to what I'm talking about. And it goes, you have your way of doing things, I have mine. As far as the right and only way to do things, it doesn't exist. 
get that get that locked in your head the problem is people still try to measure and gauge their past their path their path or their success or their failures based on somebody else's path or experience okay don't do that because as I've said before your path is unique your journey is unique in that it's yours you're the only one going exactly identically through your experiences nobody else's I'm not saying there's not similarity you say well I know somebody else is going through a lot of things similar but they're not going through it the exact same way don't gauge your experiences your results or lack thereof of results to somebody else's journey because it's going to get you fucked up it's going to get you thrown off first that's one of the character or one of the attributes you need to, to obtain on this path don't worry about what everybody else is doing it doesn't apply to you worry about what you're doing but as a magician you are a spiritual scientist and as we know, science, scientists experiment with things. And through those experimentations, some of them fail miserably. So I say this, when you're carrying out ritual work, know when you're doing ritual work for the very first time on a specific situation, when it's your very first time, and if it fails miserably out the gate, it failed for a reason. Don't focus on the failure, because people get all sucked in, oh man, you know, it didn't work. Oh, Beniti, what, what should I do now? I don't know. Dude. Look at the overall bigger picture. It failed for a reason. Not because you, you, you were uh, supposed to uh, inherit that failure because, you know, you just want to be all up in your feelings and feel sorry for yourself. No. There could be an underlying aspect that's greater than what you're seeing on the surface. Maybe that wasn't time for that door to open. Maybe you were tapping into an energy or a spiritual power that could have been damaging or detrimental to you. Or maybe your, your focus is in the wrong direction. That's how you kind of, and, and that's what a scientist does, theorizes when something fails. What was what? So ask yourself when something doesn't work out or you don't get the results, why do you think it failed? Did you go back over your ritual work and analyze it and say, okay, I did this. This is how I prepared. I set up like this. All right, then this was my intent. And then I carried, oh, wait a minute. And then something might dawn on you in that moment that maybe stood, stands out at that moment, but didn't stand out when you were doing the ritual. So when you fail in experimenting in your ritual work, don't focus on the failure and get sucked into the emotion of failing. And then it just, your whole vibe is, is shot and thrown off. No, be motivated to analyze, say, okay, this didn't work. Now let me get, let me get, to investigating and analyzing and figure out what could have maybe caused me not to get the result that I desired. See, that should motivate you to want to more look further into it, not, not sit around and be all up in your feelings. It didn't work. I don't understand. And then go ask other people, man, you know, look, I keep telling you guys, you're going to have to start figuring certain things out for yourself. Especially more so you seasoned practitioners, right? Some some of you guys shouldn't be doing some of the things you're doing. Asking some of the shit you're asking. It's not being judgmental. And I don't say that, ask questions. Because as I said before, the, the dumbest question is the one that's not asked, right? But I have to also keep it grounded in reality. Some of you guys should know better. You shouldn't be asking some of the shit you're asking. Okay. If it applies to you, it applies to you. If it don't, then just don't worry about it. Leave it alone. Okay? But you as a spiritual scientist, that's what you are as a magician. Now, also keep in mind, I'm combining two words. That's a touchy situation that, that can be dialogued, discussed, and debated about for hours. What is spiritual science? There is a connection between the spirit world and science. But here's the fucked up thing about it. That can be a little bit chaotic. They both don't fully explain each other. Not everything of a spirit. See, as I said before, you got other people who uh, think everything of a spiritual nature can be explained by either a teacher, some book, or some source of information. And that's just not true. 
what people I see in these so-called conscious communities and platforms like to do, when they can't explain something, or they don't have a definitive answer from some source that they've ex accepted as being validated, then they just quick to write it off. Oh, that's pseudo. Oh, that's not real. That's fairy tale. You just made, made that up. It may not be real to you, and that's fine, and it shouldn't be real to you if you haven't experienced it. But it might be very real to myself or somebody else. See, I'm at a point on my path, and I know there's others out there like me. I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm past the stages for years now. I don't worry about trying to prove or convince anybody of anything that I'm going through on this path, experiencing. The only thing, only person I try to come to validate and communicate that to is myself. And the results are the confirmation of that. It's that fucking simple. And once I'm getting those results, regardless how it might look to outsiders, regardless of how it might look to people who know shit about this path, this this pointless. To, I don't need to prove anything to anybody anymore. Okay, and look, just like any person has the right not to accept anything that I say or anybody else says about this path, you don't have to. That you're entitled to that, but we're entitled also to be in opposition of that. Okay, so I'm past those stages. Through my ritual work, the results that I get, that's all the confirmation I need. I don't care what it looks like to people on the outside. I don't care what it looks like to this or that person or this person or that or whatever. It's irrelevant. Okay? And I've learned early on in things that I did that didn't work out the way I wanted to. Things that failed that I set out to, to, to create ritual work. I, I started to understand the deeper reason. It was, it was deeper than it just didn't work. Right? Don't, don't don't just quick to write it off like that and then get sucked into the energy of failing. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. No, it goes beyond that shit. Okay? Look at the deeper reason. Everything happens for a reason. But as I said, spirituality and science, they go together, but they all, not everything can be explained by one or the other. That's just fact. Okay? Because there's things of a high spiritual, yes, and a lot of things you experience spiritually is subjective in nature. I get that. A lot of personal experiences we have in dealing with the spirit world, the demons, the gods, the goddesses, visualizations, dreams, all of these things. Of course, <laughs> of course there's a very subjective nature to all this. Because it starts with you. Where else could it start? It doesn't start outside of you. It obviously starts in the, in, the, in, the, in the subjective consciousness of your mind. Where else could it possibly start? There's nowhere else. So we, you need not to worry about if you're failing. You need to dig deeper and figure out maybe why am I failing. Now, if, when you're getting the results, it's a beautiful thing. Okay? Just like when scientists confirm through their experiments the work that they've done, and through the results of those experiments, when it all pans out and lines up, there you go. Oof. There you go. You got your results. That's all that matters. But when we look at this as a whole, so being a spiritual scientist, you're going to have to learn by trial and error. Okay? And you're going to, as I said earlier in the beginning of the video, you must challenge yourself. By challenging yourself, you bring out the best in you. I learned on this path strength I had. I'm not just talking about physical strength. That's part of it. But I learned, I didn't think I had the strength for some of the things that I've experimented, experienced, and worked with. If you would have told me that 15, 20 years ago or so, I'd probably have been like, you're crazy. <coughs> I'm doing things years back I thought I would never do. Ever. Okay? That's important. That's critical. Because when you, and then, and then as you gain the confidence, you start to embrace challenges. That's the difference. Right? You start to look forward to being challenged. And I'm talking about, it could be going through initiations, conquering fears, any of those things. I've done initiations that I thought I would never do or get through. Literally. It's crazy. 
But in initiations and ritual work, remember the purpose of doing ritual work and initiations and things of that nature is for personal transformation. There's serious growth in that work. Okay? So, take that approach because you might be surprised of what you're capable of. You, you, you just might be surprised. As I said before, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade this path and being on this path for anything in the world. I, 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 and I, I say that with all honesty. Okay, because it's priceless. The jewels you get by being on this path, the, the information and the knowledge that you uncover being on this path gives you just such a greater understanding on all levels. It's, it's, it's priceless. Okay? But remember, take that approach. Remember, magic is the science of mastering oneself in your immediate surroundings and environment. That's a very straight to the point, effective way to look at what magic is. Okay. I've, I've tried for years, just like anything else, there's a lot of spooky shit out there, as I said before in the past. A lot of spooky shit out there. I try to remove the spookism so you get a deeper understanding of what this path is about because nine out of ten times, those that aren't on this path, the outsiders, the naysayers, the critics, the people who are, you know, in, in, indoctrinated with spookism through the internet and other platforms, the religious people that are spooked out, this, that, and the other, they don't know what this path is about. They really don't. People still have this Hollywood internet conspiracy like 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 everybody on the occult and the left hand path walks around all day wearing hooded robes yelling hail satan it's, it's common okay because they have no idea what this path is about so i'm not gonna make this one too long I'm almost at my destination and it's been man these last couple of days here in south florida it's just been on and off rain you guys, guys can probably hear it it's been dark and gloomy and rainy for the last two days. It's uh, 514 and it's almost, looks like it's nighttime out here. It's just windy, cold, damp, rainy. I don't mind it. I mean, I don't care for the rain. I wish the rain would light up a little bit. I don't mind it. That's it. To me, it's a break, you know, from the heat. But it's been, it's been red, rainy, cold, red, red, rainy. I just developed my new word, rainy. It's been <laughs> wet, rainy, cold, dark, and damp. And as I said, as I'm recording this video, it's 5.15 in the late afternoon before we approach the early evening hours, and it's just pretty much dark out here. Uh, just na nature doing its thing, nature doing its thing. I feel like I'm in Noah's Ark, man, with all this damn rain. Certain areas got a lot of flooding, and uh, we needed the rain, though. Uh, but anyway, uh, you get the point. So you are a spiritual scientist as a black magician that's the point and hopefully you understand what I was explaining and hopefully you'll be able uh, to apply that to your understanding alright other than that just another quick reminder before I uh, close this video out again if you are interested in booking your 2024 yearly forecast reading which is just that it's a forecast reading for the entire year I give you a month by month breakdown and what spirit is affiliated with each month if you're interested in booking one of those, if you're interested in booking a spiritual reading or a consultation, shoot me an email, khnum19 at gmail.com. Remember the podcast, the Primordial Chaos podcast. You can now get audio MP3 files of all this new content so you can listen to it now while you're walking, exercising, just laying around the house, driving in your car, whatever. Now you have the ability to just listen to the audio. Don't forget the podcast link is in the description box of this video you're watching right now. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Primordial Chaos 9. On Facebook, two words, Primordial Chaos. I also upload all the new YouTube videos. All of them go on the uh, Facebook page. Um, so don't forget to check those platforms out. Also, if you want to sign up for classes, the way to sign up for classes is go to the official Primordial Chaos Patreon page located at patreon.com forward slash Beniti. 
B-A-N-I-T-I tier three, that's the tier you want to join. So the direct link also to the Primordial Chaos Patreon page, that's in the description box of this video. All right, I'm gonna check out. I'm almost at my destination. Weather's shitty out here. Cold, rainy, damp. I'm tired of this driving shit. It is what it is, but we will talk soon. I'll see some of you guys this Thursday night in class on Patreon, all right? Turn the blessings.